This video is for the dreamers whose time has come to make a change. If you're in your mid 40s working a job you have no desire to stay in for the next 20 years, but are scared of making that change, this is my story and I hope it will give you an insight as to what is possible. You see, when I was 45, it looked like I had it all. I had a great job with great pay. I had tax-free income, I had my housing paid for, my utilities. It was really hard to actually spend any money. Due to the nature of my work, I was actually working from home before it became the new normal. And I was in one country, my boss was 500 miles away in another. He had a fear of flying, so he pretty much let me run autonomously and left me to my own devices. I was really good at what I did and anyone looking from the outside in would have thought that I had everything. I was having an amazing time. The fact that I flew from Germany to the UK several times a month, sometimes multiple times in a week, gave it a little bit of that jet set glamour as well. But the truth is, it just wasn't what it was cracked up to be. You see, the ability to work from home back then was both a blessing and a curse. My colleagues in London were jealous and a little bit skeptical. Was I really putting in all the hours? But the truth was, I was putting in way more hours than they were. I wasn't encumbered by a three hour commute to London every day. But working autonomously, I also had little support and very little social interaction. So I actually felt exposed in a job that I was actually doing well. To me, I was constantly questioning it. I felt massively insecure. I was writing and pricing multi-million pound contracts. But in my head, I was thinking, who am I to make these decisions? Who am I to make these, write these statements of requirement? Who am I to come up with these pricing matrices. And the reality of the jet set lifestyle was that I would be, well, I wouldn't sleep the night before I had to fly to London. I had to get up at 4 a.m. in the morning and I was pathologically frightened of missing that flight. So I'd get up early, I wouldn't sleep. I would get up early to get to the first flight out of Germany to get to London. So I'd be in London for 10, 30, 11 o'clock. I would then work all the time and I was cutting it finer and finer to leave the office in order to get to the airport, to go through the security, to take all that pain, to get back home to Germany many times past midnight. I felt trapped in a lifestyle that was making me miserable. It was keeping me away from my family in the UK. I was missing my nieces and nephews growing up. I didn't have much life. If I was coming home, I'd come home tired. If I was already at home, I was exhausted. And I'd spend the weekends recovering by eating too much and drinking too much just to numb the pain and feelings of despair that I had in my head. It was my quiet desperation of being in a situation and a job I had no control of. I could see no way out and I lived in constant fear of making a mistake that would cost me my job. The light at the end of the tunnel was that the last contract I wrote would actually be the last contract for us. So I had a choice. I could either stay and see out the length of the contract or I could make a decision to take control and in 2014, I had the choice, either stay in the job, see it through, pick up a redundancy check, or come back to the UK and do something different. I chose to be proactive. I knew I didn't want to be in the same job for another 20 plus years. If it meant working for another organisation, I don't think I could have just gone through that entire process. Now, I didn't know what I was going to do, but I knew I was going to do something. When I resigned, my boss and my colleagues in London were incredulous. How could I leave one of the UK's oldest and most prestigious companies where jobs were secure. People had stayed in their jobs for 30 years, 20 years. My boss and my colleague between them had over 50 years working for the charity. Why would I leave that? Ironically, within six months of my resigning, they too had left the charity. You see, the new chief executive had come in and he decided that people that had stayed there for more than five years needed to move on. He wanted new blood. So he set about removing the old blood. And so that was a major lesson that you do not know what is around the corner. And if you're working for somebody else, you have absolutely no control. Never, ever leave your future in somebody else's hands. 
Now, having taken the leap of faith and having some savings behind me, I now needed to find my new path. The plus point of spending a lot of time in airports meant that I'd had a lot of time to read books. I was a voracious reader. And many of the books I read were motivational, inspirational. Old authors like Napoleon Hill, Joseph Murphy, Wallace Wattles. Newer authors like Rhonda Byrne wrote The Secret, Zig Ziglar, See You at the Top. And probably the most life-changing one, Tim Ferriss, Four Hour Work Week, with the tagline, Escape the Nine to Five, Live Anywhere, and Join the New Rich. It introduced me to the idea of working for myself using the internet to make my income. Could it really be true? I'd seen and read about it, but I had no experience other than exactly that, what I'd seen and read. Could I do it? Now, I really wish I knew then what I knew to be true now. You see, starting a business that you know nothing about, thinking you can learn along the way is not an easy journey. In fact, it's foolish to attempt it alone. Crazy. The sheer volume of learning is often overwhelming. And with no one there to show you the way, mistakes and errors of judgment are inevitable. And I found out that I'd swapped the fear of failure for actual failure as I slowly watched my bank balance empty. Now, sometimes the universe or fate steps in. By chance, I got talking to a businesswoman on a seminar and we laughed at my less than impressive efforts and results online when she suddenly said to me, Nick, I'm a member of an amazing community of online entrepreneurs that support each other and learn together to achieve the results that you're actually looking for. If you'd like, I can send you the details. I kid you not, that moment was the change the difference. It was like night and day. I suddenly found myself introduced to like-minded people that were successfully doing what I was trying to achieve. I was surrounded by people that wanted to build a business based on their passions and their belief was intangible and contagious. Where I was frustrated and despondent, I now had my beliefs reignited. I began to dream again what was possible. I got the focus and guidance and discipline that was missing. Where my mind had been full of anxiety and fear, it was suddenly changed to belief and expectation. I could see others succeeding on their journeys and sharing freely how they got there. I watched some videos and honestly, I still watch them today of my mentor explaining how to build a business based on your passion online. It blows my mind. Not only did he teach, but he explained the model. There was also some really well-written step-by-step guides to follow that anyone can use. And I've come to realize that these blueprints, these concepts, this community were the missing pieces of the jigsaw. I have absolute faith that they will work for anyone prepared to put in the time and effort to study and implement them. And that is why I'm so passionate about sharing them. You see, I was stuck. My wife and family were worried about my health and my sanity. I was working all hours with no results. I was scared and embarrassed that I'd lost everything chasing a dream that had turned my life into a nightmare. I was as low as a man could get. But let me tell you what I know. If you still dream of taking control of your life but are scared to take the first step, if you're worried about paying your mortgage and your bills, if it doesn't work out, I understand. I've been there. If you're worried about Taking control of your life will leave you with less time with your family. In the beginning, it's true, it will. But you don't spend enough time with them anyway. But let me ask, what if you do nothing? Nothing will change. The same fears and anxieties are going to be with you. But also now, a fear of regret because you've had a choice. And these feelings will grow with every passing year. You will always wonder, what if I had only taken that chance? Or maybe in five years or sooner, you could have everything that you want. You could have peace of mind from the security that controlling your own income provides. No more worries about bills to pay. You could have a relationship with your wife and kids that others can only dream about. What could you do together if you had more time? What sort of role model would you be for your children and your grandchildren? Showing them, not just telling them that anything is possible if you dream it. I hope you understand that this is a life changing opportunity for you and it's up to you to take it let me show you the way click the link below and unleash your full potential